31st, many high school seniors have finished college applications, and now they're waiting to find out whether taking advanced courses, prepping for entrance exams, and agonizing over essays will all pay off. A new report from the Harvard Graduate School of Education calls on colleges to lower the pressure on students to impress admissions committees by racking up achievements and accolades. The report, called Turning the Tide, recommends limiting the number of advanced placement classes and extracurricular activities that students can list on applications. Instead, it emphasizes community service and other changes. Richard Weisbord is the lead author of the report, and he's a senior lecturer at the Harvard Graduate School of Education. Richard Weisbord, thank you very much for joining us. What is it that's wrong with the college application process right now? Well, I think right now what students are doing is they're, um, some students are racking up accomplishments. I mean, I think they think, particularly in affluent communities, that the goal is long brag sheets. And the message we're trying to send here is that the goal isn't long brag sheets. The goal is meaningful academic engagement, it's spirited, passionate learning, and it's meaningful ethical engagement. It's being involved in your community, concerned for others, um, concerned for the greater good, for the public good. So what is it that students are emphasizing that you would like to see less of? Well, I think one of the things that they are, are very focused on is creating, accumulating extracurricular activities, accumulating AP courses. And what the admissions deans who have endorsed this report, and over 50 admissions deans have endorsed it, um, what they're saying, what they're saying collectively, and it's very important that they're saying it collectively. Um, they're, you know, they're on the same page about this, they're on the same highway. What they're saying is, you know, you're not going to be penalized if you take a lot of AP courses, but you don't need to. You're not going to be penalized if you take a few AP courses. It's fine and totally appropriate to list a couple, two or three extracurricular activities that have been meaningful to you and to describe why they're meaningful to you. We're not looking for long lists of activities either. But as you said, it is about 50 colleges and universities that signed on. There were clearly some that didn't sign on. Aren't there going to be schools out there that do care about some of the ways these students perform uh, in, 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 in ways that you're saying should be de-emphasized? Isn't there going to be a different set of criteria now at different schools? Well, you know, I think there's a, there's a few different issues here. I mean, all the Ivy League schools have signed on. A lot of the, the very selective schools have signed on. And, and many non-schools that are not especially selective have signed on. Um, and I think, you know, the criteria are still that they're looking for students who are academically rigorous. But they're also saying we're looking for students who lead well-balanced lives, you know, who are involved in their communities. And they're not involved in community service as an accomplishment, as a way to impress admissions officers, they're involved in things that, they're, that are meaningful to them and potentially transformative to them and enable them to have experiences of, of diversity across race, class, culture, also political and religious orientation.